Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Tuesday, May the 23rd, 2017. Make this quick. You're looking at a chart here of AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. As you can see, the market had this uh, enormous gap here that was filled on this date, and now the market has been in a downtrending channel. However, this downtrend channel is happening below the intermediate trend line resistance. However, in order to lock back in on the bullish momentum side, the market needs to close above 1117. And if we can do that, then this market should be able to regain its footing and be able to take advantage of these enormous ramps that we talked about that are coming up, which should put this stock uh, near $20 a share. So this one right here at this point in time uh, is definitely uh, something to watch and is in play. But the news of the day is AutoZone. Man, the short seller is blacked out in this market today, straight up. This thing closed down almost 80 bucks today look at this just this stock is just getting worn out look at this huge huge gap here that's been created that's going to have to be back and filled on the daily chart on the weekly chart this is what this is looking like you can see it's been in a downtrend channel for some time and then today uh it you know this week it just it just went ham, just total carnage today on this chart, total carnage. So as you can see, the system has been short on this particular one, and today was no different. All right, so it's, it's in an oversold condition now, so it's probably going to get a bounce back up to uh, fill that gap before determining if it's going to accelerate back down again. So we have a long extended consolidation period coming up anyway. So this one's going to be interesting to, to see how it plays out. But pretty much you just, this this next leg, this new leg down is, is quite, quite steep, quite enormous. So the gap in back and fill play is going to be interesting, especially being that it closed at the, the low of the session. So this one is looking really, really nasty. Uh, taking a look here at silver, show you how we're looking right now. All right, this market did pull away from the high significantly uh, in the close, uh, barely closing above $17. We need to close above $17 by the end of the week, or it loses momentum and is in the in jeopardy of crashing and burning below 16. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is a do or die moment for silver this week. Looking at gold. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, gold story is a little bit different. It's still inside the Kumo cloud, still within that four to six week time frame that will put us around in here. And then the market can try to break out and extend that the recent gains here and get us a, a close above 1300 failure to do this failure to close above 125090 this week would open the door to retesting the lows in the bottom of the kumo cloud so we'll be watching to see what's going to happen in that one and the junior miners gdxj is trading below the Kumo cloud, and you can see it's starting a downtrend channel that could retest these lows here. And this is in, in jeopardy of dropping below $28 a share if it cannot regain momentum and close above $32.82 this week. All right, looking at your crude oil. Uh, crude oil right now is in the middle of this Kumo cloud, it needs to get outside, top side of this cloud near the intermediate to long-term 
trend line resistance around the $30 a share mark in order to take advantage of the of the ramps that are coming up to help catapult this back to 36. A failure to do that would put this outside the Kumo cloud where you could experience one last washout before going higher. Even if it's below the Kumo cloud, you're going to have an uplift that's going to help put it at least back to here. So any way you put it, this is going to be a $30 stock in the short term. So this is going to be interesting to watch how that plays out. All right, looking at our natural gas, looking at you gas here. Uh, I'm going to put it on the daily chart. All right, as you can see here, this one's in this bullish consolidation situation and needs to close uh, outside of this Kumo cloud top side so that it could, you know, make that run to that, that three. Uh, as, as natural gas makes that run to 350, it should help lift this back above the cloud and get it to at least the $25 handle. That's my target for this, for the UGAS, and that's going to be about $25. All right, so that's kind of where it's battling now. Failure to do that would put it back testing the lows, and that would get it to about the $18 handle. But right now, I think we're pretty much oversold and consolidated. So we we have some more some more work to do on this one. I think we should at least be able to get back up to around um, the resistance of $22. We need a good close above that, and then I think that'll give us what we need to get to 25. So this is going to take a little bit longer. Uh, it may push it out to 10 to 14 days instead of um, your typical, you know, one week. So we'll have to watch this one and see what happens. And of course, looking at your Nasdaq 100 QQQ. You can see here this one topped out at 139.64, and it's been trying to come back up here and test it, sort of like a little double top here. Failure to take this out on a close is going to signal a double top and further correct back down to here. The only thing is you got this ramp coming up, all right? However, it's not as powerful as prior ramps to get it back up above here. This ramp right now, it's elongated out, and it's only enough to consolidate you and have you take out highs on spikes, but nothing to sustain, and then you're in jeopardy of dropping below the cloud. If that happens, you get back down here to 130. So this is an interesting one to see how it plays out. It's been so powerful. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But for the week, NASDAQ 100 needs to close above 137.04 to maintain its bullish sentiment. And on the weekly, the ramps are a little bit, uh, a little bit stronger than on the daily. But nevertheless, looks like you're hitting major resistance around the, one, the 140 handle. So... 140 may, may just do it. Probably get to about 140.14 before reversing and then coming down here and correcting to around the 130 level, 131 level. That's what I see coming up. All right, so remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and give nothing back and do yourself a favor. Come on over to postwavetrading.com, learn how to navigate these murky electronic waters of algorithmic trading. Learn what the central banks don't want you to know, and that is how to profit in today's markets. Peace.